I'm with the. Uh, I'm here with Big Daddy. <laughs> Big Daddy Ryan Bowen. The upgraded version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, Sweating a lot, right? Listen, you can say whatever you want to say, but this is what peak male performance looks like. It's it's becoming evident that that is the case. That is the case. That is the case. That is the case. It is. <laughs> Lachlan's in the background <laughs> laughing. I'm heavier than Lachlan now. Yeah. He yeah. can't even, he, he's, he's no longer up here with the, the big boys. Yeah. He's a, he's a lightweight. <laughs> he's lightweight. <laughs> right, was one kilo bigger. It's like you're lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to them again. <laughs> oh, but it's good to be here, man. It's How you here. feeling? I feel really good. Uh, it's been, it's been what a year and a half or something since I. What do we call this? A comeback? I think yeah. I think I'm back. Like I'm back. Wait till you hear my, yeah. my entry song. Did you send out the facts? I'm back. Well, like, straight out of Compton. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like I, I'm back in a lot of senses. I, I I went out into the wilderness. You know, you get, you spend forty years. <laughs> wandering the deserts, yeah. finding yeah. finding meaning in life, finding finding your direction, opening the flower of life. I feel like I have evolved, <laughs> both physically and mentally, yeah. and I think that uh, I think that this is a great comeback. Hmm. This opportunity is a big one, and um, and I think I think I'm going to surprise people. I do. I, I I really truly feel like what I'm bringing to the table is is the best I've been at. And uh, I think there's a lot of pressure on my opponent. I, I really think there is more pressure on Schoolboy than it is on you, for sure. Yeah, there he, has to be. He's I mean. way bigger, right? He's I haven't a, seen him yet, but I, I saw him on a <laughs> on a elliptical yeah, this morning yeah, yeah. on Instagram. And, and it was and, just back. And yeah, he, <laughs> his upper body yeah. looks so thick. It's, yeah. But I, I feel like I feel like there's a lot of pressure on him. A because he's the bigger man. He's what six foot five, 130 kilos. And he's coming off a couple of losses, and I, f I feel like he accepted a match with me under the assumption that it was going to be the easy victory for him, just to get back on the winner's trail. Like, uh, that's just my gut feel. I could be wrong, but I, I feel like he wasn't particularly concerned when he accepted the match. But mm. I feel like as he's getting closer to it, it's starting, the, the reality is going to start to set in that it is a match. And I've had a great preparation. I've been able to train with Lachlan and Rickard, specifically for Schoolboy, and I feel like the lane that I will put him into is going to be a real problem for him to pin four times. He might get through it, first round, second round. I expect his peak strength to be really significant given his size, but I know endurance is not his, not his strength. I know that mentally he starts to get a little bit nervous and starts to doubt his game plan. And I think if he feels a stickiness in my defense, you're going to see him look over at his brother. <laughs> and we all know what that means. Yeah. It's yeah. game over. You don't look at him until it's game over. Yeah. So <laughs> um, the, the real question is where is the strength gap, right? Because he could be yeah. that much stronger. And, uh, like, you know, there's sometimes you can do whatever you want with stronger opponents. And it's just going to not work out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like... The, yeah. You are you spot on. This I have to be close enough in the strength gap, and that's that's the thing that look I am. As I sit here right now, I'm probably 108 kilos, so I I, I know that I'm at my strongest. Fundamental strength through through my my shoulder, my bicep, and all that has been really good the last three months. I've been very happy with the lifts that I've been able to achieve. I feel like my hand and wrist is is maybe even better than his in terms of. Pronation rise, I feel like my wrist is very stiff. Uh, it's just, can, can that be enough to, to slow down his perhaps bigger base power? Mm. I, I mean, I know he bench presses 200 kilos. He, I'm not sure what his static bicep is capable of, but, but I've seen him with heavy dumbbells doing those partial sort of statics that everyone likes to do. And I, I, I'm, coming from the leverage that he's bringing, I, I, yeah, I'm expecting the peak force to be significant. So the strength gap, it has to be close enough, but also I do think that he is doubting his top row. I think that he's had a few failures where he expected a success against Leonidas, uh, against Carl Ed, um, where it didn't follow through for him like he expected, and he's had to result, uh, ended up pulling really ugly. 
and I don't think he wants to pull ugly against me. I, th I feel like he fears pulling ugly against me. Um, I, fe I feel like if it gets ugly, I'll lead the dance and it won't matter. That strength gap will not quickly evaporate and it will become irrelevant. So I just have to survive that first one second. Uh, I remember when you pulled Zurab, I said there's, there's a lot of ways you can win in this match. Not, not uh, only by winning, but by having small victories, right? And yeah. uh, at the end, you took his hand, you get that position that you wanted to. You, you kind of went Hail Mary and just went sideways. Hmm. Making him arm wrestle you dirty would be one of the small victories? Yeah, look, look, look it, it, I feel like if I get a small victory in this match, I'll get the victory. Mm. I, I, I do feel like that. Um, and the small victory, yeah, like, like if, if round one is not a flash pin, I will win the match. If, if he flash pins me round one, okay, I still have to solve the puzzle. But if, if, if round one I get into my lane and he bang, 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 bang through, mm -hmm. gets through it, he can, I don't believe he can do that four times. So getting it ugly, yes, is a victory for me, but I think it will actually be worth more than that. I don't, I don't see a loss if I get into an ugly battle with him. Mm. I think he falls away too much. But look... The first time you grip up with someone that you've never touched hands with before, especially when there's that, that expectation of there's potentially a strength gap, there's a little bit of nervousness where you're like, I don't actually know if I'm strong enough yet. Mm -hmm. But confidence comes from discipline rather than... And that, this is something I've learned in the last year and a half, is that from my discipline, I can be confident that, that I would just perform to my best. And... I'll be calm, I'll be in control of my emotions. And look, if he's good enough to just flash pin me, then I'll take my hat off to him and shake his hand. But my intuition, when I look at the matches he's had struggles with, and I can loosely draw connections through other people that I've pulled that have pulled those same people, I don't think the strength gap is gonna be a problem. You, you, caught, you caught me off guard with uh, uh, discipline equals confidence right <laughs> i was like who, who is this guy but um yeah like of course you, you matured you learn you get some experiences right uh, mm. uh it, on and off arm wrestling table and uh yeah it's definitely like uh for me it's very hard usually like when, when you pull someone you're trying to kind of like who have i pulled that they have pulled right that's the measuring stick when that was like kind of trying to find it and this one it's 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 harder right the, the, there's the some close, guys the closest i feel like, like like you can people have loosely drawn a connection between his performance against leonidas and then they loosely go from leonidas to larry and then they go from larry to me mm -hmm. that's a, that's one loose connection that but is, it's quite loose yeah quite loose yeah then the other loose connection that exists is with the korean arm wrestling thing mm -hmm. um schoolboy had a match against the super heavyweight Korean champ. He won the match, but it was sticky for him. It was very sticky. He lost sticky. his wrist. He went for press all the time, right? And I haven't pulled that gentleman, but I have pulled the 100 kilo Korean champ who last time he faced that Korean super mm -hmm. heavyweight, he beat him. Mm -hmm. They're quite on par, and, and I got through quite cleanly against him, three to zero, even though I had to work hard. So like, again, those things for me are just indicators of strength gap mm -hmm. differences. Stylistically, obviously, it's, that's one thing that we just don't know. Schoolboy and I have never touched hands before, mm -hmm. and that will be a complete unknown. And, and, it's gonna, and I, I've declared that I'm, I want to open up top roll King's move, but it's all going to come down to how he behaves in that first setup, and I'll respond accordingly. Like, will he, part of me thinks he's lost confidence in his top roll, and he's just going to try to play the insurance card of, I've got a long arm and a long hand. I can force a hook if I want to and then just grind out a victory. I feel like that's his insurance policy. I feel like if he's confident, he'll try to top roll me and go for it. But I feel like if he's nervous, he's going to try to hook me. So depending on what he does, I will react accordingly. And I, and I back myself in that respect too, that I can, I can feel what's going on. I've, I've won a many super matches after having lost the first round and I don't think he can say the same. I think that if, if you pull this off, uh, I'm looking at you as an underdog. I, I see him as a favorite, but um, yeah. you are smart enough and you will work hard enough to try to win this match. If you pull it off, this probably will be the biggest victory by many measurements 
it, of your Armisen career? The only way that I don't think it'll be my biggest victory is if I, if I am deemed by the arm wrestling world to have cheated my way to victory. I don't want to be in, an, in a straight arm king's move. I don't want to be. I don't want any fan of arm wrestling to say, "Yeah, but look, he went below the table. He only won because he went below the table." Yeah, I know. that's a goal of mine. Look, look. Yeah. Will I go below the table? If it, if I have to, yeah. I'll take a foul, go below the table if it means I'm putting bullets in his hand. Yeah. But my for me, I'll be really happy with myself if my shoulder not even gets close to being questionable below the table. Oh, look, I will use the open arm top roll, but I feel like my training has prepared me where my open arm top roll is, it's only just past 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not bad. That's okay. the goal. Okay, okay. I, I understand, <laughs> like, this is, this, yeah, because if, if you pull this off, it's the biggest, biggest by any metric. If, if I do, if I do pull it off, I, I really want to return to not only King of the Table, but East West West in the 105 kilo category. I would like to start climbing that ladder. Um, people like Nigzari Chikadze, mm -hmm. um, those sorts of ranked guys. I know they're one of fives. They're sort of ranked ten through fifteen. L let me start climbing that ladder. Yeah, that's what I'd like to do. Yeah, well, exciting. Uh, I, I, I think it's good to have you back. I can't wait to think the matches. For me, it's very exciting because there's a lot of unknowns, and I want to know these things. And uh, <laughs> yeah. just because it's so much unknown. And I feel like you're in position where schoolboy is nervous, which is yeah, kind of right. First, weird first one. match of the card too. Like right. the mood of the room's not yet going to be established. <laughs> no. So he, no. He, he's going to be like, no. the nerves are going to be big for no. him. I, I, my nerves will be there. They'll be present. But, yeah. but I do feel something about the, the age difference. Uh, it's no offense to schoolboy, but he's still at 22. You can try to be measured and calm at 22, but... You still he's struggle. Older. He cannot be 22. I think he's 25 at least. No, he's only 22. 22. I, I think so. I could be wrong. I've been telling myself he's 22 Okay, anyway. maybe, maybe. Okay. But, <laughs> but well, however old he is, he do, I don't think mentally he's... Um, I just don't think he's had enough time in the sport, life experience, to be able to handle this pressure as well as... He would ten years from now. Okay. And I've been I've been at this for over a decade now, so I feel like I had that advantage. Yeah. I, and I th I th I really think there's a lot of pressure on him. There's a lot of pressure on him. So he will come in uh, with a lot of anxiety. And if you can find a way to expose it, make the day go bad for him. <laughs> I'll make right. him look at his brother. That's that's my goal. That's <laughs> that's the the mental pressure goal. Like. Yeah. As soon as I, as soon as I feel my foot in the door, I will start talking to him about looking at his brother. Yeah. Want, learn, want Just, me to teach you some Russian? <laughs> yes. Can you please tell me? <laughs> I always say, look at your brother in Russian. Посмотри на свой брат. Басматинас. Посмотри. Посмотри на свой брат. На свой брат. Yeah. Look at your brother. Uh, okay. Send me that in audio, <laughs> and I will repeat that. Repeat that. Oh, oh, oh! Just. Uh, uh, can you say it one more time? Uh, we, we can say, where's your brother? Где твой брат? Где твой брат? Где? 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 Твой? Твой? Твой. 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 Где твой? Брат. 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 Где твой брат? Where's your brother? Где твой брат? I love it. I love it. That's good. Get, uh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, That's perfect. Don't, don't miss this. Got to be live on pay-per-view. This Saturday, June 1st, King of Table 11, Ryan Bowen returns. Big Daddy Bowen is here. Get your toy, brat.